Now, this is a topic I'm surprised I've not actually spoke about yet, or not, I don't think I've really spoke specifically about it, but anxiety. This was like a massive part of my life for, I want to say probably like the last four years until, probably until I turned 19, I'd say it was kind of, once I moved out of, out of uni halls, it, I kind of sorted myself out during lockdown and stuff. And then I moved back to a flat and I was, it was completely different. Um, a wee bit stressful, but that's because like, I was just busy constantly trying to get food cooked, do uni work, gym, and I was in a relationship at the time, so I had to spend time with her, so it was like stressful, but I wasn't anxious, I wouldn't say. There's a massive difference for me, like, anyway, I feel like it's a really important topic, I feel, because I think a lot of young men suffer with this, and I can see it, now that I don't suffer as well, like, I still I get anxiety quite often, especially like, new circumstances and stuff, or when things change unexpectedly. I'm, I'm, a, I'm actually a lot better now when things change unexpectedly. I, I'm fairly calm at the moment, but when it's like when I'm going into a new environment or new situations and stuff, it can still get me a wee bit, but I don't know if that's just because I was kind of, I wasn't really very in my self-improvement the last time I had like major sort of anxiety. Well, I say major, it was just like, it was kind of constant throughout the days and stuff, but not nowhere near the severity that it was when I was at uni. And the one example I want to tell you is like, so I had gym session at like 7, 7 a.m. when I was at uni and it was like a train that would take 20 minutes to get there. So it'd be like 20 minute walk to the train station, 20 minute train and 20 minute walk from the train station to the gym. From where I like, yeah, that makes sense. And basically, I'd get the train. This was last, like second like hour, so I would leave. Need to leave around six ish. But I was getting up at half past four in the morning, like an hour and a half before I need to leave. And I, I still do wake up an hour before, but like an hour and a half is a wee bit, <laughs> a wee bit much. And that's just because I was so anxious about missing the train and not getting into my gym session, and like that would affect. That would obviously affect my sleep. I wouldn't be able to sleep. Properly, like I wouldn't be able to get to sleep properly, and I wouldn't stay asleep either. Like I would just be like sweating, waking up in the middle of the night, going to the toilet and stuff. Like it fucks your life up. I did not enjoy it. Like that was, it was disgusting. And then like getting back and like going to class and stuff, rushing about, getting like I I used to be really like anxious about people seeing me sweating in class, and that would just make me sweat more because it would like I don't even know why. Like I. Obviously I'm sweating, I've been rushing around all the time and I don't know, I just had like, I didn't want to be seen with like pit stains and stuff like that, which is kind of, it's kind of weird, but people can probably relate to that, so I won't say it anyway. But I think what, what happened was when I got, came to lockdown, I had a lot more time and stuff, and also that's when I first started like even knowing what self-improvement or like personal development stuff was, because I was... I was getting into business stuff, I was building a business with my friend and we kind of, like I, start, I started coming across personal development stuff on YouTube while I was researching stuff for the business on YouTube and like the main thing for me was like slowing down and I like, I don't know if I've ever heard anyone say that specifically before I figured this out, obviously I've, since then I have heard people say slowing down, it's almost like reaffirmed my my belief but slowing everything down in my life has made so much difference i think it's simple things like not drinking as much coffee i know people a lot of people will drink coffee or like red bull or just have caffeine in them a lot i don't like right now i probably drink a coffee maybe two, two three times a week and it used to be every single day sometimes multiple times a day when i was at uni i'd have like one at breakfast one at lunch whereas now i'll occasionally have one in the morning if i'm like maybe if I'm going for a meal with my friends or if I'm just going for a coffee to catch up with somebody. But most of the time it's decaf, like I won't, especially if it's anything past in the afternoon because it just, it messes up my sleep first and foremost. But having that in me every day, it's like, I remember doing some mental health course thing in school and they were saying like, caffeine is basically just like the drug version of anxiety. Like it just makes your heart race and like struggle to breathe and stuff, which is, which is really like, it's not what you want, is it? And I've also found that the days I used to, when I was in high school, earlier in high school, when I used to go to the woods every day and build shit with my friends, like, sitting in nature 
you can't be more calm. Like, n nature takes its own pace. Like, everything's, like, kind of slowed down in nature. Also, you get, like, animals running around or whatnot, and maybe it's a windy day or a rainy day, but on, like, a, just a normal day, go and sit in nature, go and walk in nature, just slowly stroll and just watch a river or something. But, like, honestly, like, it's not going to be, like, a magical superpower, because if you're really anxious, it's still going to be, like, you're still going to be a wee bit anxious, but it's going to, like, if you... You just try and be present and saying it. Notice how slowly everything is actually going, and like, it's very, it's a very uncomfortable place to try and rush around everywhere, and it, I, I that's probably one of the things I feel. I don't know if it's is it sympathetic or empathetic. Someone explained it to me the other day. The difference, I think, I think empathetic is like when you can relate, and sympathetic is like when you feel sorry for something someone but you can't relate it could be the other way around but you understand what I mean like I, I used to feel like that and seeing people like rush around and stuff like that and constantly drinking coffees and stuff and try to keep themselves going like that it's probably one of the things that like I wish I could help sometimes but like a lot of times it might be people that I don't know and there's like I'm not gonna be like listen if you just slow down you'll be because like I remember seeing one thing actually on, on Instagram one day, it was like, people who walk fast tend to have anxiety. And like, bro, it's so true. <laughs> like, I just, I stroll places now. Unless I'm like late, I'll be like, oh shit, I need to get to my car. I need to get this and that. But I literally just stroll. I give myself time to stroll, to be able to walk slowly. That's what you need, just slow down. I made a video on this and actually, it's, I think it's my most viewed video, a wee short. I'll, uh, fling it up here somewhere but just just slow down and this was actually when i was experiencing anxiety a few months ago i was like i'm just doing everything too quickly just slow down that's like i'm gonna keep repeating that now so i'm just gonna end the video but all right yeah i'm just gonna end the video slow down i'll see you in the next video um subscribe if you're still watching or if you're not still watching even though you won't see this i'll see you in the next video cheers